Shalom, giving all the praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kaha Kodash, double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone who told me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah, Yasharala, that's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Father's true name, Yah, He, Hawa is in existence or to be Bahashim in the name of Yahweh Shah, Yah, He, Hawa Shah. Savior, deliver of the nation of Israel. This is breaking news, breaking news. They're in slippery slopes. Slippery, slippery slopes. This this place is circling the drain. As you as I'm gonna play here, Treasury Secretary moves default date back to June 5th, which is what four days back from June 1st. We don't see what's gonna be accomplished. We coming into their memorial day a day to honor <laughs> isn't it crazy honoring the vets from the, the the major wars now we had several wars but let's focus on the biblical wars world war one the first woe world war two the second woe and now we about to enter world war three on this memorial weekend you got the vets coming out not knowing the military is about to mount up for the third woe the final woe things are moving quick so we're going to see what they're going to do. Let's check this out. <clears throat> Breaking just in the last few moments or so, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen pushing back that so-called X date, the projected start of an economic meltdown to June 5th. That, as just in the last few hours, the House went into a recess until Tuesday. Negotiators still hammering things out behind the scenes. But the bottom line is that any kind of action on the debt ceiling We'll have to wait until then. It caps off a day where we were again hearing positive things from both sides of the conversation, implying that the deal could be just hours away. They're talking to NBC News using phrases like getting closer and an agreement coming together as well. House Speaker McCarthy earlier repeating that word that we've heard him use a lot in the past few days, progress. We worked through the night last night. I thought we made progress yesterday. I want to make progress again today, and I want to be able to solve this problem. So you've been hearing it on this show and probably everywhere as well. The consequences of a default would be serious and painful for Americans everywhere. Delays on Social Security checks, federal employees not getting paid, interest rates on everything going up, and maybe millions of people losing their jobs. Uh, NBC's Garrett Hick joins us now from Capitol Hill. And wouldn't this uh, be a perfect on. time to implement which is on its way on July 1st, deadline for CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currencies, Cashless Society. We don't know um, why the Heavenly Father got them waving the flag right now, pushing it back. But we do know that um, they're in straits right now. You know, the average person will say, well, why don't you just turn on the printing machines and get the printing the money? Nah, it don't work that way, man. It don't work that way. We're going into a new industrial complex, which is the fourth industrial complex which they switched the system from paper dollars to a electrical and eventually these electrical dollars right ran by uh the smart cities the internet of all things will be put or fused into your body man and machine the motb baby that's what we coming up uh, uh, upon so i don't care if they push it out another six months they're not gonna stop the prophecy they're not going to stop the prophecy. They're not deliberating on anything. These people about to go into their Memorial Day weekend, smoking their cigars, drinking, eating their cheeseburgers. They don't know what's going on at the top. They got a memo. <laughs> That's what they got. They got a memo and their reporters got a memo. And this news network, which is Embassy News, got a memo. And this is what they report. They're not coming up with any decision. These are not the, the, the decision makers of this thing here. Ultimately, it's the Heavenly Father. Then he works through the elites. There's an elect of the Edomites. Okay, but check this out. This is Jeremiah 51 verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. See, you can always look at how the Lord speaks, man. You know, he speaks in the past tense. Even though Babylon today, the daughter of Babylon is rolling. He speaks of her in the past that's the beauty of prophecy it already happened so babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed how for her take balm for her pain which is like a healing medicine man a band aid of a sort so you can try to put this 
this band aid, this Bengay <laughs> over this grievous wound, but you can't stop the prophecy. You can't. So no matter what you put out to the public in the next two to three weeks, we moving forward, E. You're going into this third world's war. You're using those swords, which are those ICBM hyper supersonic missiles. Yeah. You're going to see the second coming of our Lord. The Lord going to make you push Revelations 13 and 16. You will implant about 80 to 90 percent of the world population with your grain of rice. That's prophecy. You can't stop it. It's out of your control. So you can take some bomb for a pain. You can put a little band-aid over a, 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 a serious wound. But the Lord says, if so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. So that little band-aid pushing his back, whatever you're trying to do, trying to buy yourself more time, it's not going to work. Because we would had uh we would had healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. They just gonna give up. And the elites has at, at the top, the Rothschilds, the DuPonts, you know, these people at the top. Come on, man. They worried about the bunkers. How, how, how comfortable can we make this place for the next 25 years? Can I live in those bunkers and, and, and raise my kids and be re reincarnated in them bunkers? This is what they worrying about. The reincarnation process in those bunkers, man. They know it ain't going to be no NWO because they got their witches and warlocks telling them about the prophecies, man. They looking in the sky. They see the UFOs, which are the cherries of the Lord everywhere. So it says, forsake her. Let us go, everyone, to his own country, man. Everybody's, once they really hit the fan, the nations find out, like, man, it's getting too expensive to live in America. A lot of them going to bounce, even though they're making money off this whore. A lot of them going to bounce. They're going to leave their companies here to feed them back there in their countries. But to actually live here and pay taxes here and buy homes here, it's too expensive. We're going into hyperinflation. So she's being forsaken by the top elites and by the other nations that roll with the elites. They, they drunk from the cup of the whore. Revelation 17. So it says they want to flee to their own countries. For her judgment has reached unto the heavens. And yes, the heavens, the fourth dimension is here. Meaning, in other words, second edge of 69. It's time to break that prophecy. And they see the, 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 the main thing is the uprising. Ezekiel 37. The valley is woke. Once the prophets come out to the streets and start predicting and, and condemning and judging the, uh, the future of the elites, that's the end. Because the, the, the men of the Lord are not using their own words. They come out of this book and its book actually scares them. It scares them to come out of the book properly with the prophecies. So the, so the prophets, the men of the Lord are coming out with the prophecies that they're afraid of. That's how they see they end. Through the men, the lowly men with, 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 with the sackcloth on, you know, in the ghettos, backs hurting, necks hurting, feet hurting. This is the life of the prophets but these men got a word a, 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 a prediction in their spirit in their mouth and it's against the, the top elites and they always been waiting for this day they can't believe it's here so it says her judgment is reaching to the heaven how did she know that Isaiah 13 because the men of the Lord come out to the streets and they telling her they telling this beast the judgments and they saying wow this is these are the men this is the end okay so it says, and and is lift up even to the sky. So we at the end of this man's kingdom, man. So I want to give all the praise and honor. No matter what they do, they can't stop it. I want to give all the praise and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakaha Kodash. Shalom.